Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. I decided that over this quarantine slash COVID slash 2020 craziness, I would start filming videos about my book collection. Uh, I discovered so many really cool booktubers that are out there that I've been really admiring and loving watching. And uh, yeah, so I decided I'm gonna do this thing. So the video that I'm making today, I uh, thrifted a bunch of books and made two separate purchases at Indigo and I have a haul, which is really exciting. Uh, so I'm gonna go through what I got. I'm gonna start off with some of the books that I thrifted. I'm gonna make a stack here. So I'm gonna start with the books that I thrifted. So I thrifted at two different places. There is a value village in Cambridge that's close to my house that has incredible book selection. They are constantly getting new books and it is such an amazing place to get quality books. I've gotten so many literally brand new books. I've got um, Holly Black books. I got Where the Crawdads Sing there, like beautiful copies, like someone either got it as a gift, didn't read it, I don't know, but they're pristine. So I go thrifting there maybe once a week I'll go and I'll scan through and sometimes I find nothing and other times I find some really good stuff. So uh, I'm going to go over some of the like younger kids books that I got. Uh, the first book is Into the Land of the Unicorns. Now this book I read when I was a kid. I have read this book like 10 times. I was horse crazy. I was that horse girl when I was a kid. I loved this book and I still love this book. I'm reading the back of it and it's taking me back years. Um, so it's, it, I'm going to read this pretty much instantly. It's only, let's see, 159 pages. It's not even 200 pages and the text is huge. So I'm going to get through this in like an hour and it's going to just take me back to a place where things were simpler and there was no COVID. So that is the first book Into the Land of the Unicorns by Bruce Coville. The second book I got was Bridge to Terabithia. Now I read this in elementary school and I don't really remember it. I remember loving it and kind of being sad, but I don't really remember it. And I saw it there and it was like less than $2. So another really easy read for an afternoon. Maybe I'll read it with my nieces. The third book I thrifted at Value Village was Shadow of Night by Deborah Harkness. Uh, I have her first book that she wrote, um, blanking on the name of it, but they made a TV show about it. It was really good. And I actually read the first book because of the TV show and I really enjoyed it. Now I have the audiobook and I've read or listened to the audiobook of this book. Uh, and I found it honestly just a little bit tedious. The writer's a historian and you can tell that when she's writing about her characters and all of that, he, oh, sorry my cat's biting my feet. So you can tell that when she's writing things, she's really interested in historical accuracy, which I can really get behind. I think that's really cool. And there's a lot of parts of this book that are really in, like really in depth with history, which I love, but it's just really uh, thick. Like it's, it's, it takes some time for me specifically to get through it. So I bought, uh, I bought this copy because I would love to tackle it again. Now, the second place that I went to was St. Vincent de Paul. There's one that's nice and close to my house. And it's, uh, it's, a, it's a thrift store and their books are like dirt cheap. I got these two books that I'm about to show you for $4. So the first book that I'm going to show you is the first book in the Percy Jackson series. I've never read this and everybody goes on and on and on about them. So I figured that I would give it a go and see what it's about, see if it's for me or not. So I'm excited to get into this one and see if it's good because honestly, I see Percy Jackson books all the time when I'm thrifting. They're just completely out of order. <laughs> so if I really like this one, which is the first time I've actually seen the first book in the series, then I'll start collecting them and I'll see where we can get with that series. The second book that I got at uh, Vincent de Paul was the Giver of Stars by Jojo Myers, or Moyers, that's an O, Moyers. This is uh, on my sister's favorite books list that she gave me, and I don't know anything about this book. I couldn't tell you the plot. I can tell you the cover's really pretty, and Reese Witherspoon likes it, so there's that. But my sister loves this book, so uh, this is definitely going to be something I pick up probably in the new year. 
Now next, I've been waiting for a shipment from Indigo for about a week. I accidentally put in my address wrong and I had to reroute the package. FedEx was like, girl, we can't find you. Oops. So I finally got it here and I'm opening it. I just ripped it open. I'm going to open it for the first time with you folks. I hope that everything's in good shape. So the first book that I got is Ready Player Two. I know that a lot of people have been talking about this book. Uh, some good things, some not so good things. I really, really liked Ready Player One. It was um, not a typical read for me. I've never read anything that was really into like video games or gaming. Um, I'm not a gamer. I think that maybe when I was younger, I played Pokemon Snap and that was cool because I loved photography, but like that's not really a video game. My boyfriend is the gamer of the two of us. So uh, I was surprised that I liked the story so much. Um, and I know that people are saying that it was perfect as a standalone, but for me, like, I don't really care. If there's going to be a second book and it's going to take me back into that world and it's going to be a fun read, then I'm giving it a go. And unless it's absolute like garbage, then I'm probably going to enjoy it because I don't know. I just love stories. So Ready Player Two is the next one. Next up on my list is Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. I don't want to mispronounce that. So Lee Bardugo. I'm excited about this book because I've heard a lot about it. And this is another one that some people really love it and some people don't. I'm three quarters of the way through reading Six of Crows by the same author. And from what I understand, I've done it backwards. I should have read this series first and then read Six of Crows. But I don't care. Again, I uh, I love spoilers. I'm the type of person that wants someone to tell me the end of the movie before I go and see it because I like to know what to expect. So it doesn't ruin it for me. So I'm going to give this one a go. Hopefully I'll be able to pick this one up soon and uh, delve back into this world because I really like this world. And the last one uh, from this order is Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahirin? Mahirin? Maha? But anyway, I picked this one up. I uh, don't really know much about it. I know that a lot of people have read it and it's on a lot of people's uh, recommended list. Uh, and it was on sale during Black Friday. So I picked this one up and I'm excited to read it. It's a really beautiful cover. I love that like dark black on gold kind of look. This is definitely my vibe. So I'm really excited about this one. The last books that I'm going to show you are books that I picked up today. Uh, I own my own business and I paid myself today, which honestly, guys, is really saying something seeing as we're in a pandemic. I've been kind of like pooling all my resources to build back into my business. So the fact that I paid myself today, feeling like an adult, feeling like a successful like boss bitch adult. So that's thrilling. So I celebrated with what else? books. So I have three different books here. Book number one is A Court of Thorn and Roses by Sarah J. Moss. Um, I've heard so much about this book. I really love Holly Black's book. I've actually been reading Holly Black way before I even knew that she was like a thing, I guess, on booktube and book talk and all of the book things. Um, and I love her world of fae and like otherworldly magic. And this is supposed to be like an adult version of those types of worlds. And I'm excited to read this. I've heard really good things. I hope it's just like nasty, like gritty and right into that. You, you know what I mean? Am I losing my mind? I'm really excited about this one. This one I'm probably going to skip into my uh, TBR for December. I already posted on my Instagram what my TBR is, but like it's, it's going to change. I, I can't help it. There's too many books and my uh, attention span is like this big. So it's probably not even going to end up looking the same. I'll make a video at the end of December on what I would manage to read through December and we'll see if I stayed true to course. Next, I got this lovely Throne of Glass. I've heard so many good things about this series. The thing I like about this series is that it's a long one. Um, when I was younger, I read a lot of really long series that just were like the never-ending books. I was a horse girl, obviously, so Heartland came out with a new book every like couple months. And I remember begging my mom to go to chapters and pick up a new one. And that's kind of the, the pull towards a series that's got longer 
like a longer episodes or more books is that like the story doesn't end and I really love that so I picked up the first one here I've heard that the first one isn't as good as the second and third etc etc so I'm excited to at least figure out what this world is about and see if it's worth me continuing on with it so this is the same author as the book that I showed you before and I'm you know what leap of faith I'm trusting that everybody on the internet knows what they're saying and hoping that this is a good choice my final book to show you guys is This Bad Boy, Crooked Kingdom. I'm really, really enjoying Six of Crows and uh, the character building is so phenomenal. Everybody has a backstory. Everybody has like a challenge and like some really deep stuff going on. And I love the process of learning about these characters. It's been a lot of fun and I'm really excited to finish it. So I went ahead and picked up the second one because I want to continue right into this book because I want to know what happens. I want to see a nice little tidy bow at the end for these characters. Um, well, obviously not all duologies or trilogies has a tidy bow at the end, but I just want to know what happens. So I picked up this one. I'm excited to read this one. And that wraps up the new books that I have for this video. Um, I am more of an intermediate reader. I've never really read more than like five or six books a month. So I'm setting some hefty goals, but I think that I'm going to meet them or like get closer to meeting those heftier like 10 books a month kind of goals because I have so many books to look forward to. And um, I, I don't want to rush through the books that I'm currently reading. I want to like thoroughly enjoy them, but I feel like I'm going to be more consistent with reading them because I have things coming up that I'm really excited about. So thank you very much for watching if you're here. Uh, feel free if you want to watch more of my videos or see my progress through the world of books on the internet to subscribe and hit the bell notification and leave something down below if you enjoyed this. Um, maybe like a smiley face or something. I loved having you here. Have a lovely, lovely day and thanks for joining me. Mwah.